This video demonstrates how to use the Avanos Enteral Access Dilation System, which consists of a telescoping dilator with peel-away sheath. The telescoping dilator with peel-away sheath allows for desired dilation with a single telescoping device, which reduces the need for repeat dilator exchanges over the guide wire. The Avanos Enteral Access Dilation System is intended to facilitate stoma tract dilation prior to placement of the Avanos MIC and Mickey brand enteral feeding tubes. Prior to dilation, ensure the stomach is in apposition to the anterior abdominal wall. Remove the dilator from the packaging. Verify functionality prior to the procedure by advancing each dilator sleeve distally until the physical stop is felt. Once verified, retract all sleeves to their original position. Verify the skin incision is adequate to accommodate the peel-away sheath. Apply water-soluble lubricant. Advance the dilator top over the pre-positioned guide wire through the tissue and into the stomach using a clockwise and counterclockwise twisting motion. Advance the next dilator sleeve into the stomach until a physical stop is felt. If placing a Mickey low-profile feeding tube, continue dilation through the red sleeve. Then remove the dilator from the stoma and measure the stoma length with the stoma measuring device. After measuring, remove the stoma measuring device and resume dilation by advancing the dilator over the guide wire, through the stoma tract, and into the stomach. Continue dilation until all dilator sleeves have been advanced. Twist the dilator hub to release the peel-away sheath from the dilator. Lubricate with water-soluble lubricant and advance the sheath through the tract and into the stomach. Remove the dilator, leaving the guide wire and peel-away sheath in the stomach, with the remainder securely maintaining position in the tract and exiting the stomacyte. Select the appropriate Avanos Mick or Mickey enteral feeding tube while maintaining stomach and stoma tract access via the pre-positioned peel-away sheath. Advance the tube down the peel-away sheath and into the stomach. After the tube has been advanced through the peel-away sheath and is in position in the stomach, peel the sheath away from the tube and remove and dispose of it according to facility protocol. Complete the procedure according to the Avanos Mick and Mickey brand enteral feeding tube instructions for use. Confirm the enteral feeding tube is positioned in the GI tract prior to feeding. Verify functionality of the telescoping dilator prior to the procedure by advancing each dilator sleeve distally until the physical stop is felt. Apply water-soluble lubricant prior to dilation. Avoid excess lubricant as it may cause difficulty in gripping the dilator segments. Once positioned, hold the peel-away dilator stationary during the procedure to prevent it from migrating further into the stomach. If you need additional information, reference the IFU.